when I was daydreaming about my next van build, I pretty much knew what I wanted to do bed-wise. I was going to get a futon because they're lightweight, inexpensive, and I could bolt it down into the van easily. And surprisingly, not many people put futons in their van. I was YouTube searching it and Google searching it, and I couldn't really find any pictures. So if you want an idea of what a futon looks like in a full-size van, there you go. It's about 6 feet 5 inches this way and about 4 feet wide. I still have hallway space. I have a gap right here and a gap back there. I'll show you that in a second. This is the extended model Econoline. I really wanted the extended model Econoline just for the extra space. If you get a non-extended model, that back window, this, this is basically chopped off. This is what's added. This is what makes the extended model the extended model. But I really wanted that extra space. And what I really like about this futon is of course it could turn into a sofa but it also folds up both ways so it folds up this way so I'm still trying to figure out what I want to use as a storage but I could utilize all of this space all four feet and six feet five across I have all kinds of storage space so I really like that it takes up a lot of the van but at the same time at least I could utilize all this space under it Oh, I also put cardboard. I'll do a more thorough review of this futon later. But I put some cardboard under it so that the pads aren't sinking into the bar more. And then I just bolted it down with L brackets. And then that side just bungeed into the original seat bracket. But I also bolted it down with these L brackets. Here's how it looks from the back seat. Plenty of room. So there's a pretty big gap here and up front. Like I said, if this wasn't the extended model, this section wouldn't be here. So the bed would take up a lot more of the van, but it's pretty good the way it is right here. I'm going to mount my table right here, so I'll have a table right here. So I planned this all out in my head. If seats weren't important to you, if you really don't need the seats, you could take this out and you would have all kinds of room back here. But I wanted to keep these because I wanted my van to remain a six passenger van and not a really big two seater vehicle. There's a TV. I'll make this a sofa right now. Before I turn this into a sofa, I want to mention this. This is resting right on the wheel well, which is perfect because this is only a hundred thirty dollar futon so I wasn't expecting the highest quality sofa bed it's good enough I bolted everything in really tight like extra tight so it doesn't rattle as I drive and I like the fact that this is right on the wheel well so if I sl sleep on this side this wheel well is supporting my weight so I really like that and then it's really tight up against the wall so this side has a catch right here so my mattress won't fall out so put a lot of thought into it before I bolted it in here's how it looks as a sofa bed all it does is fold up nothing slides out this way so the dimensions are unchanged so this is your permanent hallway space right here and like I said earlier I like the fact that this folds up both ways I could even fold it up even more see so I could access this space right here so I'm probably gonna do like four storages maybe even six little ones that way I could hold all kinds of different things each storage is gonna be for something different so I like that so this folds up all the way like that so it's easy easily accessed from the back and the front so all kinds of storage space and that's why I really wanted to go futon route. Inexpensive, easy to bolt in, just used L brackets and bolted it in back there from the, um, not bolted it, but I just bungeed it on one side from the original seat bracket and then up front, just an L bracket. So really simple to bolt in. 
and this isn't going anywhere it doesn't rattle when I drive that was important to me so there you go futon in a van if you're thinking about putting one in your van or daydreaming about a van build like I did mine's coming along nicely